All right, we know that we are the escape. We're the toy store. We're the candy shop. This is where you come to get away from the problems of real life. But when the problems of real life so acutely intersect with what we do, it becomes very, very difficult to avoid talking about it. Do we want to sit here and talk about a deadly disease that's rampaging around the world right now? No. We'd rather be having the fun that we usually have. We'd rather be talking about sports. But sports and the coronavirus, COVID-19, have certainly intersected. And that's what makes it tough because sports is always our escape. Sports is where we go to get away from the problems of the real world. Sports is where we have our mind taken off bills and problems and sickness and things like that. But unfortunately, sports can't do that for you right now because sports is smack dab in the middle of this. Um, we said this on the soft open. We'll say it again. About a half hour ago, it was announced that the Seattle Mariners will not open the baseball season at T-Mobile Field, which used to be Safeco Field, a beautiful ballpark in Seattle. They were supposed to open their season on March 26th against the Texas Rangers. That will no longer be played in that field. So Major League Baseball is trying to find out exactly where it will be played. It will not be played in Texas, which would seem to be the easy fix because Texas has a brand new ballpark that will not be ready to be opened at that point. So signs are pointing that the first major league game for the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners will in fact be played at Seattle's spring training home in Arizona. That's just one thing. Tonight, the Golden State Warriors will be playing the Brooklyn Nets tomorrow. Well, uh, tomorrow, I'm sorry. Tomorrow the Golden State Warriors and the Brooklyn Nets will play in front of empty seats because the coronavirus has certainly taken a stronghold over Northern California, so people are doing their best to keep people safe, to keep this virus from spreading. Yesterday, we told you that the Ivy League has canceled the men's and women's basketball tournaments that, with it, carry an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. Uh, so the teams that finish first during the regular season will just get that automatic bid rather than playing in the, um, in the conference tournament. The thing that hasn't been answered yet, and it just seems like we're headed that way, and Don pointed this out a long time ago, that this was what was going to happen. What's going to happen to the NCAA tournament, which is driven so much by the mania of the fans, the madness of the fans, where people travel from all over, especially in the first round, when you have all those teams playing the four games the first day. You have people from all over the country traveling to that one spot where their team is playing in the regional. Is the NCAA going to allow that to be played in front of fans? Because there are two rounds of the NCAA tournament that are being played in Ohio. And Ohio is canceling um, events or having events being played with nobody in the stands. So it's a very, very fluid situation. Uh, the first um, time it affects baseball is the, is the Mariners situation. But what happens? What happens with the other teams that will start this season on March 26th? Will the Yankees be playing in Camden Yards? Will there be fans in the stands when they play in Camden Yards? A week later, will they be playing at Yankee Stadium? The Mets, the same deal. Will they be playing their games in City Field? Will the situation become so out of control that they will cancel the games? Or will they play the games without anybody in the stadium and just make it a television product? Again, we wish we were talking about something else, everybody, but I'm sorry. We're realists. We're going to talk honestly. And this stuff is really prevalent right now. Whether or not the escapism that we've always depended on is there for us, I think it's a day-to-day, hour-to-hour, almost minute-to-minute -minute fluid situation. We just don't know until more information comes in. Walter.